Well, that's an odd view, you might say. Hello, everyone. A little bit different stuff happening today for me. I am out helping with some farming, harvesting. A friend around here needed some help with getting the crops off. It's been a little bit later this year. We've had a rather dry summer, and but quite a rainy September, so a lot of catching up to do. It's going to be a hot one today, up in the high 80s for the South Friends, or around 30 Celsius. So yeah, I'm keeping busy these days. Been doing this a little bit. Haven't been able to do this near as much as I had hoped, or farmer friend would have hoped too. But that's just the way the weather has been with some rain. And haven't been doing as much music either as I was have been doing some handyman work, helping my parents with a project. And, oh, it's so pretty out here. I hope the wind doesn't wreak havoc with the mic on the iPhone. But just as I was sitting here and just thought I'd do a little video, just sharing this, what I've been up to and what I'm doing right now. And it was reminding me a little bit of days back in when I worked with my dad and brothers at the computer store and we were also working on the music uh, at the time, the Risen album. And sometimes just that feeling of frustration, working on it, thinking, oh, you know, we're, we're, we really enjoy this music. We really enjoy recording. But we got to keep working and sometimes maybe the feeling, I, I know for myself, I would sometimes feel, oh, I want to keep doing the music, or, uh, but we got to keep doing the computer stuff. Should we take a break? And, and I, I was also very blessed for the guys, my brothers and dad, let me take some time off to focus on the music for our album. But it also hit later on, maybe it was after we finished the album, that it just it hit me more how I wasn't at peace about it and being discontent wasn't doing me a whole lot of good either and it was just kind of challenging me at the time oh here comes the combine I might have to uh, pause this and pick up again in a, in a bit of course it'll just be a cut for you but here it comes Okay, excuse me while I go uh, help unload uh, some wheat. Cut, and we're back. Actually, over five hours from that last I was talking to you, but that's the way it goes. I just didn't seem like I could find a time to uh, pull out the camera again. But continuing where I was, uh, hopefully continuing the thought somewhat, and I'm not gonna, I got the windows or doors open right now on the tractor, but that won't be happening probably as often now with the sun setting, because the mosquitoes are going to come out in full force. And they like me, so I'm going to keep the doors shut if I can help it. But anyways, carrying on with what I had been talking about, just thinking about, um, discontentment and you know thinking oh we'd we're working on this music and it seems like this is a direction we should go but other things in life are getting in the way and and what hit, hit me at the time and I had read this verse many times I'm sure but going over Philippians 4 uh, let's see Maybe about verse 11. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. That just always stuck out to me. Uh, just that word, content, really hit me at the time. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed, both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. And that just, I don't know if there was a moment or if it just grew over the days. In a way, it also struck me as I was just reading this, how Paul said, I have learned in whatsoever state 
He learned how to do that. Some of these things don't just happen. We learn how to do it. And how do you do it? By practice and, and, and making the effort to be disciplined in whatever area God wants you to be disciplined in and to go in that path. And it just helped me so much at the time to be content with where, where I was. Um, yes, we, I, maybe I couldn't get in as much music as I thought I should be able to. Yes, uh, it seemed like other work was uh, keeping me busier than maybe I wanted. Um, but it wasn't the right direction, I didn't believe, to be discontent about things. And it just soured my attitude. I wasn't, um, I didn't work as well. I, I did what I was supposed to, but it was, it was just that realization that was like, this carries over into everything I'm doing. Like, am I going to be happy with my family as I work with them? Am I going to kind of be frustrated or hold a grudge or something? Like, oh, you're keeping me from doing what I'm, supposed to be doing, which is working on mixing and mastering this other music and blah, blah, blah. And it just reminded, I was reminded of it again today, just with, I love working on music and I know many of you people out there that watch the channel and are keeping up with the music. You know, many people I'm sure wonder, oh, where's some new music? And I hasn't made a new video in a while, has he? And I just wanted to share where where things are at, what what I'm busy doing, and that it's it's okay, you know, be content with where you are. I don't know if I am applying this verse perfectly for my life, but contentment, it's it's sometimes it's easy to make excuses for why we're discontent, and until things change, if we don't change about being content and at peace with where the Lord has us or where we are, then we're going to make excuse for why we act the way we do or why, well, yeah, maybe I should be nicer, but this isn't what I should be doing. So this is where I am. I am helping farm and I am working on renovations and they are, they've been a blessing. Um, it's just... Being self-employed, you never know where the income will come from. So I've been really thankful for this this work to have. And yep, it, it may put the music on hold, but that is just fine. So the combine is coming up here. It's going to pass, and I didn't want to make this video too long, but just wanted to share what's been going on in life here. And now I've got to carry on. It's about 7.30 and not sure how late we'll go um like i said at the beginning it has been uh not very many good days for harvesting i mean last time we got out was last last monday and that was i was out for 40 minutes 40 minutes not very much <laughs> but uh so this has been good yesterday was about 12 hours and we'll see if today ends up to be that got a Grab the hay while the sun is shining. So take care, everyone. Go ahead, look up that verse, and dig into your Bible. Find the knowledge and the truth that's there that God wants to show you through a means that you have at your disposal. I'm holding up an iPad, but it has the Bible on it. And whatever it may be, the real book or a digital version, dig into it and find what the Lord will have for you. And have a, well, I'd say wonderful evening, but who knows when you watch it. But it's evening here, so take care. Bye-bye.